Esse quam videri. That is our motto. They are Latin words, but they suit us. To be rather than to seem. The average North Carolinian never put on airs. He was a yeoman farmer, more self-reliant than any Virginia aristocrat, and more democratic than any South Carolina planter. He sowed his crops himself and harvested them himself. And black or white, prosperous or poor, he believed himself to be the equal of any man. If I talk about the independent North Carolina farmer as if I knew him, well, I did know him. He was my own grandfather. I can see you now, John Bishop, with your white mustaches tobacco stained and your roots so deep in the sand of Onslow that you seemed as much a part of nature there as the blueberries that grew in your ditches and the frogs that croaked in your marsh and the tall sycamore tree from a branch of which you hung me a swing to swing in. And I'm swinging there now and you are sitting on your big toolbox in the shade of the back porch, fashioning a new axe handle to fit an old axe. And now Rena Bishop, good-hearted woman, my grandmother, her hair tied in a knot behind her head and carrying a cooking pot, opens the screen door to come to the pump on the porch for water in which to cook the butter beans for supper in the wood stove in the kitchen. And she puts down the pot and wipes her hands on her apron and smiles to see me swinging. She was a teacher and lover of books, who taught the love of books and earned the love of many children, and especially of me. And I swing so high that I can see the wood pile, the watering trough, the corn crib, the barn, the shed under the hayloft from which we moved the wagon into the yard to make room for the Chevrolet, Aunt Trixie's home from teaching school. And there is the picket fence, whitewashed once upon a time, surrounding the twisted apple trees and the ripe smell of apples on the ground. And there is the smokehouse, enclosing the moldy smell of hams and dirt and brine. And I remember the excitement of washing day and the great steamy cloud from the great black pot in the side yard full of lye soap and long johns and overalls, which my grandmother stirred with a hoe handle and the hard work and squealing and blood of hog slaughtering day, the day that resolved me never to be a farmer. And I can see the woodlot where the Venus flytraps grew, put there for the purpose of being tickled shut with a straw by little boys. And I can see the logging road beyond, limit of my world. What is a childhood memory for me was a life for you, John Bishop. You were a plain man, able, dignified and kind, learned in many things, though not in Latin. Your epitaph, however, is there on the great seal in Latin. Esse quam videre.